Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a feisty couple in love that loves a good Fight Night Friday. So for this Fight Night Friday, we're checking out Guilty Gear again. We're checking out the theme songs uh, for Happy Chaos, uh, Sin Kiske, and Bedman. Uh, so yeah, if you want all of our reactions to Guilty Gear, check out the description of this video for a playlist. And let's let's do this. Let's do it. He has an interesting look. Yeah. Okay, it took me ten years to find the answer something. I've Different kind of tune too for uh Guilty Gear. Mm-hmm. She's more like hardcore. Got a more of a groove, a little funk to it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. There we go. There's the type metal guitar. I love his design. It's just awesome. Mm -hmm. Love the diversity in the lyrics. Well, it's, yeah, if there's 100 of you, then it's 200 eyes. <laughs> Dude, been there. Okay. You're just happy chaos. All right. Makes sense. For the sperm bank, it's fine. Right, 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 right. Like the. Come on. Hmm. This thing just keeps coming back to life over and over again. That's why he's never gonna have any conclusions. He'll always be reborn. Hmm. And like each time he's reborn, it's more and more crazy. Tone shift. Yeah, it's a tone shift. What the hell? Just be a 
church and I carried by the waves. <laughs> Pretty sure this is one of the beats you dropped on YouTube. <laughs> These are all facts. <laughs> Nobody knows. I have two arms. I had a reason to be angry. But I don't care. I don't care. The hourglass does not turn outside and down. That's right, it just keeps draining. an optimist. There's like that effect on the voice. Mm -hmm. Let's make failure. That's interesting way to put it. Kinda. Be an optimist, you always think it's gonna work out. I think it doesn't. It's okay to fail. He does sound like he belongs on my team. Yep. Hope and optimistic and yeah. <laughs> All that I was gonna say you have to say it with such disdain. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it off! Yay! <laughs> Sunshine and rainbows and butterflies. That's the thing, it's not all about like rainbows and butterflies and sunshine. It's like, rain's fine too. It's like, yeah, it rains, dude. It's like, it's fine, it'll work out. Just go with the flow. It's raining right now. It's like a very laid back California vibe. Yeah. Just, just roll with it. Exactly. 
It is, yeah. California hippie has his dudes. <laughs> This one's gonna be upbeat. Batman, the weird one. Yeah, I see it too. It's got a big eyeball on it. Yeah. Doesn't exactly look friendly. Mm -mm. Fucking circle. All the squares in the world. Triangles suck even more. See the circle. Ride Welcome the circle. to the Yen Fan world. What's my end game? Their game at zero. Said here, there is a sudden save you where? No peace either. Where there is no beginning and no end. Real life be like that. And you do words that won't go with the room I hate. Yeah, it sounds like it's like a cult. This circle. What is with the circle? You must know. One after the other, over and over again. I wish you knew. Copy that. I feel like this would be like an updated version of like Clockwork Orange where just they would have like my eyes like peeled back here and watching this video over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like it could be really programmed into some cult. Disturbing. Yeah. Which I think fits the character. Mm-hmm. someone that makes you cry every now and then but also is able to make me smile. Mm. 
Yeah, otherwise it's just apathy. Yeah. I mean, you obviously want the smile to outweigh the cries. Yes. By a lot. Yes. Or you should be really good in bed if you know there's a lot of cries. <laughs> Well, that could lead to a smile, that too. That could lead to a smile, too. Yeah, that's true. The last one was wild. Uh, you know, we said that before about uh, some Guilty Gear uh, videos. And, like, you know, they can, like, the lyrics are uh, vague if you don't know the lore of the characters. But, like, it's, like, it gives you some input into the characters, uh, but still not enough. Um, for me, it'd be, like, Sin Kiss Chaos was my favorite one, then Happy Chaos, and Bed Men out of these three. For me, it was Happy Chaos. Oh, really? Yeah, I just, I loved that his was so unique and different. I okay. really didn't know what was coming next in that song. Um, and just when I thought I knew, it changed up again. Yeah. Um, so he was just the most intriguing to me. Like, I, I couldn't, like, I couldn't pin him down. And therefore, yeah. I, I wanted it to keep going so I could try to figure it out. Then Sin Kiske would be the second one because I just, I vibe with that. Um, and Bedman, Bedman wasn't bad, but it was just, it was very unsettling. And so it's yeah. one where I'm like, I'm glad I saw it. I don't necessarily need to see or hear it again because it's creepy. But I mean, like I, I, I think the experience was what I was, I was supposed to have. And so it was successful. Yeah, it was, it was successful in what, it, uh, the feeling that I was trying to evoke in you, which is, um, but again, it's like, yeah, it's. We talked about this when we did our uh, favorite videos, our favorite songs in Has Been Hotel. Um, and it's like, yes, I want the songs to like, make me feel something. And like, but like, normally I want that to provoke some kind of like positive feeling. Unless like there's some sad songs or whatever that like you might be want to listen to. Like if after like, I don't know, like a breakup or something, or if you're really like down in the dumps or something like that, you kind of want to hear those like sad songs every now and then. Um, uh, but yeah, like just like something that makes you like creeped out or, or, or whatnot, or just like feel uh, like, yeah, icky. This <laughs> is the, for lack of a better word. Um, those are songs I kind of don't want to hear again. You said everything with Happy Chaos that I felt as well. The only reason I thought that I liked, or the, the only reason that I do like Sin Kiske uh, more than I liked uh, Happy Chaos's theme, is just because like, like Happy Chaos has like jumped around so much. It mm -hmm. kind of like was a little bit like jarring, which I you know, but it was really fascinating and interesting to, to listen to and to watch. But with Sin Kiske, I'm just like, okay, that's a song like where if I played it again or something like that, I could like, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I got the song a little bit better. I got kind of what it was about. Um, and like the the tone, the melody throughout, it was um, also just something that was, uh, that I dug. Like, I love the beginning for Happy Chaos. I thought that was, yeah. I'm like, oh man, they're gonna keep like this through the whole song. But they didn't. No, they didn't. Yeah, spoiler alert. But- Even though you just saw it. <laughs> Um, I think also probably I come at this with a slightly different perspective only because I'm not a big heavy metal person, mm. like really at all in terms of the kind of music that I like to listen to. Neither of us are, I don't think. So, no, but I, I think you would more, bit, uh, yeah, you bit would more, more than I would. Um, so I think like that's why Happy Chaos resonated more with me than mm. Kiss K because musically there was more diversity in Happy Chaos and I don't look at these as one where I'm going to turn on my Spotify and listen to them again necessarily. Yeah, true. So for that, I was like, okay, this this has a diversity of sound and this character is really interesting. I'm intrigued. Whereas like with Sinkiske, it was kind of more in line with what I expect from Guilty Gear, which I'm like, okay, I was like, I get the character. I'm, I'm hooked in. Like, I like this guy. I get what he's about. And then I go on to the next thing. Like the, the music was kind of like to the standard of Guilty Gear which I think is why Happy Chaos stuck out more to me. Well, it's a, the, the Hourglass is the name of uh, Sin Kiske's theme song. And so I also like the line in there. And this is just my interpretation of it. I don't think this, I mean, like, this is my initial interpretation of it. And then something he said later kind of like made me think that maybe this wasn't what he meant. But um, he was basically saying about how you can't turn the hourglass like upside down. And you think of like, you know, just the hourglass, the sands of time and just how you can't really like, you know, there's no use in going back because you can't, you can't go back. Um, and you also can't get back the time that you've lost. So why like dwell on things? Why uh, get so like upset and you know at what is happening? Like you know rain or shine or whatever. You just gotta kind of go with the go with the flow. Um, and yeah, so like 
I don't know. I just, I just, that line stuck out to me and I, and I dug it and I was like, okay, that's a, yeah, that's a good outlook. Like, yeah, you can't change. Um, you can't turn it back. A very Zen meditation, be in the present moment right now and enjoy the present moment. Don't worry too much about the past. Don't worry too much about the future. Just enjoy the present moment. And like, otherwise you just like, if you're dwelling on the past too much, or you're thinking about the future too much, then you're just going to miss your entire life. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments and which one was your favorite out of this trio. If you want all of our Guilty Gear reactions, we have a playlist. Thanks so much for checking our reaction for Guilty Gear theme songs, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.